This Ag Vision program is made possible through the generous support of Syngenta Seeds NK brand. The results you need, the freedom to choose. And by Farms.com. Ag news, market prices, ag careers, and farm real estate. You'll find it all at Farms.com. According to the Canadian Federation of Independent Business June 2007 Farm Bit Member Opinion Survey, 34% of respondents called succession a high priority issue. The same study also found that 27% want to exit agribusiness in the next five years. Another 29% want to say goodbye in the next 10 years. That's over half who are thinking about transitioning out of their farm or agribusiness. And of these folks on the five year exit plan, over half do not have a successor. The study, 52% of the respondents had no plan, 38% had just an informal one. Why are so few farmers making formal plans? To help us answer this question, we are joined once again by Elaine Fraze, the author of the book, Planting the Seed of Hope. Can you give us an idea why an issue identified by farmers as a priority is in fact not? Um. Lots of different reasons, Kevin. Two of the big ones are fear of letting go. You don't want to let go of a business if you have nothing to look forward to. Some people have sort of the kinky idea that if they make a will or if they make plans or put things in writing that they're going to die, um, that that causes death. So there's fear of aging and dying. Wow. Let's be brutally honest here. What are the most common, maybe lame excuses that you have heard of why this doesn't happen? <laughs> well, I'm dealing with a family right now that's classic, Kevin, in the fact that there's so much work to do with the, the livestock and the actual farm operation that they just say, we, we don't have time. We just don't have time to talk about this. And yet the farm is losing money, and I've brought in other consultants, which I do in my coaching practice where I'm an agrologist, if someone looking at the numbers, and he agrees with me. He says, Lane, they are just not making it a priority. Other professionals have been stymied as well, and, and their closing comments were, to me were good luck. So it's, it's putting it as a priority, and it's also just taking it like a ball of wool, one thread at a time, because it's a very complex issue. There's many different plans to be made. So it's the whole overwhelming factor, I think, Kevin, is really tough. So, so touch on that. Is the process complicated? It, there, there's many different ways of looking at it, but there's great resources out there. If you just, um, viewers, go to CAFANET, C-A-F-A-NET.com, all across Canada, it's Canadian Association of Farm Advisors. There's lots of professionals. There's farmcenter.com, which has great resources, one of which is managing the multi-generational farm, which I give all my clients just as a starting point. It's, it's the determination. I'm really thinking now it's the will to work and do the work. And there's a saying about, you know, you can't eat an elephant at a time. And I think the Chinese have a saying, too, about the journey of the, a thousand steps begins sure. with the next step. Yeah. Well, and I think it's understandable in the sense that uh, we understand taxes and we get our taxes done because we have a deadline. Uh, and we've been through the process before. Succession really has no deadline except death, I suppose, and we've never been through the process before. So you can, I guess, on one level understand why it doesn't happen. But again, I'd encourage people to get my book or to call me for a complimentary coaching call just to get them kick-started, Kevin, because I've been in two succession plans myself personally, and as a course, uh, as a coach, I've seen lots of different scenarios. and. It's just working with that opportunity. There's lots of opportunity, but it's just taking that next step, getting a binder, getting, it's just starting to work on one piece. Just work on the talking piece first, then work on the conflict resolution piece, then start thinking about bringing more professionals into your team of advisors, but just take the next step. Good salt of the earth stuff, as always, Elaine. Thanks so much. We'll talk to you again. Okay, thanks, Kevin. Elaine is a farm family coach and joins us each week here on AgVision. You can find her articles online at elainephrase.com.